naman class yung part 3 ng discussion natin sa force vectors. So, same objectives lang class. Precision vectors. So, dito naman class, yung vector niya ay tumama sa coordinates. Ano? Wala siya dun sa mga plane. So, meron siyang x and y sa coordinates. So, dito class, based on the figure, so yung A, ang coordinates niya ay sa x ay 4 meters, sa y ay 2 meters, and then sa C ay negative 6 meters. Yung B naman ay 6 meters siya sa x, negative 1 sa y, and then 4 meters sa C. So, ang position vector class, ang, ang formula niyan ay or ang equation yan ay r is equal to xi plus yj plus jk. So, based on the figure class, sa a, ayan class. So, yung p, meron siyang coordinates na x, y, and z. So, yung value ng r, yung position vector ng r ay xi, based on the figure p, and then yj eh, plus jk. So, dito naman class of position vectors, ang tinutukoy nitong R na to is yung position vector mula dun sa origin of the point or yung O. Ano? Yun yung tinutukoy niya. So, ito naman class, kapag yung position vectors naman is yung point from A to B. So, ang pag-solve niyan ay position vector is equal to the quantity ng xb minus xa i plus quantity ng yb minus yaj plus quantity ng cv minus aak so isusubtract nyo lang class yung yung dalawang vector, ano para makuha yung position vector nya from a to b so sample problem tayo class so, an elastic rubber band is attached to points A and B as shown in the figure. Determine its length and its direction measured from A toward B. So, ang hinahanap dito class is yung position vector from A toward B. So, we all know that value ng position vector R is equivalent to quantity XB minus XA i plus quantity yb minus yaj plus quantity za minus zb zb pala zb minus za k so ang xb class i negative 2 kasi patra siya minus ang xai 1 i plus ang yb naman class i 2 positive to siya going right minus ang ya naman i 0 ano and then ang zb naman i going up na 3 meters minus value ng za na negative 3 going down Okay. So, makukuha natin ang value na value na negative 3 i plus 2 j plus 6 k meter ito class, meter so, kasi naka meter ang ang unit niya So, ayan. So, meter. So, makakuha na natin class ang value ng position vector. Ano, gamit yung equation na square root lang. Ano, hanapin lang natin yung magnitude. So, r multiplied by negative. r is equivalent to square root ng 
negative 3 squared plus 2 squared plus 6 squared. So, ang value ng RI, 7 meters. So, yun class. Ang haba nung, nung rubber band ay 7 meters. So, how about naman class D? Direction me measured from A to B. So, ang hinahanap dito class is yung angle. So, we all know din class ang equation ng sa unit vector. Unit vector is equal to R. Itong capital R na to class. Ito yung tinutukoy nito ay yung vector. Position vector. And then, dr the naman is lanting is yung D magnitude. So, meron na tayo nito pareho. Ano? So, position vector natin ay negative 3i plus 2j plus 6k over d r natin na 7 so pwede din natin ito kasi sulat as negative 3 over 7i plus 2 over 7j plus 6 over 7k so, makukuha na natin class yung value ng angle kasi ito class yung pagkuha natin ng alpha, ito naman yung sa pagkuha natin ng beta, and then ito naman yung value na gagamitin natin sa pagkuha ng gamma. So, ayun class. So, ang alpha, so cosine alpha is equivalent to negative 3 over 7. So, makukuha natin ang value ng alpha na 115 degree. So, ang cosine beta naman ay equivalent sya sa 2 over 7. So, makukuha natin ang value ng beta na 73.4 degree. And then, ang cosine gamma naman ay equivalent sya 6 over 7. So, makukuha natin ang gamma na 31.0 degree. So, ayan, class. So, meron na tayong position. Meron tayong length ng rubber band and then the direction measured from A to B. So, next. Force vector, force vector directed along a line. So, ito naman, class, ang solution niya. Ang, I mean, ang equation. So, force vector is equal to the magnitude multiplied by d unit vector na u. So, ang unit vector class ay equivalent siya sa position vector over the magnitude. So, ayan, nun, ayan class. So, substitute lang natin. So, yung position vector na equivalent siya sa xb minus xai plus yb minus yaj plus cb minus cak. And then, d magnitude naman class, yun yung square root ng quantity ng xb minus xa squared plus quantity ng yb minus ya squared plus quantity ng zb minus ca squared. So, ayan lang class ang equation. So, example problem. The man shown in the figure pulls on the cord with a force of 70 pounds. Represent this force acting on the support A as a Cartesian vector and determine its direction so dito naman class since pulling siya so ang force niya ay hinihila pababa so magmamatay din yun class sa pagdetermine natin ng direction ano so pag sinabing pababa yan ay negative so we all know class na ang value ng position vector natin ay makukuha na dito ano so, based on the figure class, since uh, is illustrated naman dyan yung value ng mga coordinates niya, so, makukuha na natin ng madali yung position vector. Ano, without solving na yung coordinates nung separate coordinates nung B and A. Ang hindi na natin siya pinagmaminus. Ano, so, makukuha natin ang value ng R position vector I equal sa sa xi 12i and then si, sa j naman ay negative 8j since going left and then sa z naman since pulling siya pababa 
So, ang value ng Z ay negative 24K. Why 24? Kasi class 30 minus 6. So, hanggang dito lang. So, 24K. So, ito yung value ng R natin. So, by that, makukuha na natin na ang haba nung chord. Ano? So, R is equal to square root lang ng 12 squared minus plus pala plus negative 8 squared plus negative 24 squared. So, ang value ng length ng chord natin ay 28 So, ayan. So, by that class, magagamit natin ito para makuha na yung value ng unit vector natin. Ano? So, ang unit vector naman ay equivalent naman siya sa R over R. So, R na position vector and then D, ito naman yung magnitude. Ano? So, substitute lang natin. So, 12I minus 8J minus 24k over 28 so pwede din natin ito class isulat as 12 over 28 i minus 8 over 28 j minus 24 over 28k so since meron na tayo class value ng f makukuha ay value ng u unit vector, makukuha natin yung value ng force in terms of Cartesian vector. So, ang equation yan class ay F is equal to the magnitude F multiplied by the unit vector. So, given class yung magnitude din tong F na to, which is yung 70 pounds. So, masasolve na natin siya. Substitute lang natin. 70 multiplied by 12 over 28 I minus 8 over 28 J minus 24 over 28 K So, ang value ng force natin acting on support A in Cartesian vector I 30 I minus 20 J minus 60 K So, ito class ang value in terms of pounds. So, ito class yung value ng force natin as a Cartesian vector. So, ito class yung answer natin dun sa una. How about the direction naman? So, ang hinahanap dun ay angle. So, makukuha na natin siya gamit ito class ito. So, again, ito yung sa pagkuha ng alpha. Ito naman sa pagkuha ng beta. And ito naman sa pagkuha ng gamma. So, cosine alpha is equivalent to 12 over 28. So, pwede din natin isulat na alpha. So, arc tan arc cosine, I mean ng 12 over 28 ay equivalent to 64.5 yun naman cosine beta ay equivalent naman siya sa 8 over 28 negative ito class negative 8 over 28 kung saan ang beta ay equivalent siya sa r cosine multiplied by negative 8 over 28 equivalent to 107 degree yung gamma naman cosine gamma is equivalent to negative 24 over 28 so gamma is equivalent to r cosine ng negative 24 over 28 so ang value nyan ay 149 degree so ito class yung tatlong angle so yun yung direction nya bigyan ng direction So, ito yung class yung sagot. So, ito naman ay another topic, that product. 
So, dito naman class, that product is used to determine the angle of two vectors. Ano? So, A dot B is equal to AB cosine theta. So, ito class yung equation. Ano? So, meron tayo ditong loss of operation. Commutative law, A dot B is equivalent din sa B dot A. And then, multiplication by a scalar. So, A multiplied by so that product of A and B. So, y I sa sub I distribute lang class. So, so ang magiging sag ay so multiplication by a scalar a multiplied by the that product of a and b is equivalent to quantity a multiplied by a that b which is equal to a that quantity T A and P. So distributive lo naman A that quantity ng B plus D is equivalent to that product A and B plus that product ng A and T. So ayon class. So ito class yung formulation ng Cartesian vector. So A that B we have the vector A na A X I plus A Y J plus A C K that yung vector din naman na vxi plus vyj plus vck so solve so mak makukuha natin yung value ay first i-multiply muna natin yung axi dun sa vector b so ax px i dot i plus ax by i dot j plus ax vc i dot k so, yung ay naman, so plus ay bx j dot i plus ay by j dot j plus az bc j dot k. And then yung az naman, yun naman yung imumultiply natin dun sa v, sa b. So, az bx k dot i plus az by k dot j plus az bc k dot k. So, ang ma-arrive yan sa value na a dot b na equivalent to ax bx plus ay by plus ac bc y so ganito yan class so we all know class itong ganitong pure so ito yung z ito yung x ito yung y so andito class yung i naman yung j and then ito naman yung k so if we consider class 1 unit i dot i so meaning i and then another i so pag pinag multiply yan so mi meaning wala ang magiging angle between them i 0 degree ano kapag naman class i j same ito class pala same yung yung i i same siya na i dot i ang magiging angle between them i 0 degree ano so 0 degree kapag j dot j din class 0 degree din and then kapag j dot c 0 degree din so what it naman class yung i j so kapag i j naman consider natin na meron ditong 1 i and then 1j so lalabas class na ito yung angle nya so ito ay equivalent ito sa 90 degree so yung ij naman class i 90 degree yung ik same din 90 degree din so ik 90 degree and then the i y i mean i Z. Ito pala ay KK pala ito. KK pala ito class. So, yung KJ. KJ naman class. KJ. Yung KJ naman ay equivalent to just sa 90 degree. Ito. 
90 degree din. So, ayan class. So, yung cosine value nyan class, kapag sinolog natin, so, yung dot product nya, so, diba? I dot I is equivalent to magnitude ng I mo, I cosine angle between them na 0 degree so ang cosine 0 degree class ay equivalent sa 1 so lalabas class na ang I dot I ay equivalent to 1 so same naman ito class dun sa J dot J equivalent to 1 and then K dot K how about naman class itong 90 ano so kapag nag dot product tayo ng i dot j so equivalent ito sa i j cosine 90 degree so ang cosine 90 degree class ay equal to 0 ano? 0 so lalabas na yung i dot j class equivalent to 0 yun namang i dot k is equal to 0 din and then yung j dot k ay equivalent to 0 so, ang matit so, dito class, so, yung may i dot j may eliminate. So, ayan. Yung i dot k, mawala din kasi 0. So, yung j dot i, same with i dot j, 0 din. And then, din, di j dot k, 0 din. And then, the k dot i, same with i dot k, 0. And then, di k dot j, same with j dot k, 0. So, ito lang class tatlo ang matitira. Kasi ito class ay equivalent ito sa 1, equivalent ito sa 1, equivalent ito sa 1. That is why nag up sa formula na, or sa equation na, AX, BX, plus AY, BY, plus AZ, BZ. So, ayan. Applications. The angle form between two vectors or intersecting lines is equivalent to, theta is equal to arc cosine quantity A dot B over AB. Wherein yung, zero, yung theta class ay greater than or equal to 0 degree but less than or equal to 180 degrees so ito naman class another conditions yung the components of a vector parallel and perpendicular to a line so ayan dito class ang parallel dito ito 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 ayan yung parallel so, ang perpendicular naman ay ito naman. So, para masolve yan, AA is equal to AA unit vector A. So, ito class, again, pag naka-italicize, yan ay magnitude ang tinutukoy niyan. And kapag naka-bold naman ay yung Cartesian vector or yung vector ang tinutukoy nito. And then, ito naman ay yung unit vector. So, masasolve natin yung value ng AA wherein yung A dot A is equal to A cosine theta ayan so makukuha natin class ang perpendicular nito gamit yung Pythagorean theorem so ganito yan so A perpendicular is equivalent to square root ng A squared minus A A squared so, kapag kinonsider class itong right triangle na ito, so, ito yung maa-arrive na formula. So, ayan class. So, para mas lalang yung maintindihan, mag-sample problem tayo. So, ayan. So, determine the magnitudes of the projection of the force F in the figure and to the U and V axis. Axis. So, given ang figure, pinapahanap yung F, U projection, and then D, F, B projection. So, madali lang ito class kasi given na yung sa figure. So, makukuha na natin. Simply, F, U projection is equivalent to 100 cosine. 45 degree which is equivalent to 70.7 newton so ito na class yung sagot sa FU projection 
Doon naman sa FB projection. Since given na din class na naka 90 degree na siya, ano? So, ang sagot niyan ay 100 cosine 15 degree. Equivalent to 96.6 newton. So, yan yung class yung magnitude of the projection of the force F in the figure and to the U and V axis. So, another problem. The frame shown in the figure is subjected to a horizontal force F 300J. Determine the magnitude of the components of this force parallel and perpendicular to member AB. So, ang hinahanap dito class is yung components ng force parallel dito. Parallel sa AB. And perpendicular sa AB. So, ito class 90 degree. Perpendicular. So, paano natin masasolve? Siyempre, given ang value ng F na 300J. So, una class, alamin muna natin yung yung value nung F na magnitude of the components of this force parallel. Ano? So, given yung 300J, so, makukuha natin yung unit vector along V. Ano? So, kunin na muna natin class yung unit vector nito. So, paano yung unit vector na R. I mean, unit vector na is equivalent to position vector RV over D magnitude RV. So, alam naman natin class ang, pos ang equation ng position vector na yung uh, XB minus XA I plus YB minus YA J plus CA CB pala, I mean CB minus CA K. So, but dito class sa figure natin, since since yung A naman natin is nasa origin, so we can determine the value of position vector na 2I 2I positive, going forward siya, plus 6J going right, kasi plus 3K. So, ang magnitude class niyan ay yung square root lang ng 2 squared, square root na plus 6 squared plus 3 squared. So, makukuha natin yung value nyan ay 0.286i plus 0.857j plus 0.429k. So, ayan class. So, makukuha natin na natin yung value ng force parallel or D F A B na equal sa F cosine theta so ayan so substitute lang natin we have the value of F na 300J And then, multiply natin sa 0.286i plus 
plus 0.857 ray plus 0.429 k so bakit ang yung ganito class kasi ito class f a b is equal siya sa f that product na u b so ayun class so kasi mag parallel siya ano so mag parallel yung line nya ano so ayan so masasolve na natin so 300 j multiply nito so j dot i magiging 0 so magiging value nyan i 0 multiplied by 0.286 i and then plus plus j dot i j j pala i mean so equivalent yan sa 1 so lalabas na 300 multiplied by 0.857 and then ito naman class j and k so j dot k equivalent to 0 so lalabas na plus 0 multiplied by 0.429 so makakuha natin class na ang value ng f a b is equivalent to ito lang so equivalent to 257.1 newton so ito class so ito is 0 na ito 0 din ito so yan class yung value ng components ng force parallel dun sa member a b how about naman class kapag perpendicular sa a b so paano natin isa solve so dapat ay so masasolve natin yan galimit ang equation na na f is equal to f a b which is yung parallel yun plus f perpendicular gamit class yung knowledge natin about the parallelogram ano so yun yun class so mahalagang ma-retain sa isip natin yung mga previous natin na pag-aralan dahil gagamitin natin ito so ito naman class isasolve natin ito in vector form so yun so again isulat ko lang so f a b is equivalent to 257 point point 1 newton so gamit class yung equation na f is equal to f a b plus f perpendicular plus yung f a b f perpendicular so kapag pinag connect natin yung class makakapon tayo ng parallelogram so ayan so i-substitute natin class dito so alamin muna natin yung value nito di ba nakuha na natin yung value ng FAB in terms of Cartesian vector form so paano yun So, paano yun? So, F, A, B is equivalent to the magnitude F, A, B that dun sa U, V. Ano? Wherein, itong U, being class, ito is nakuha na natin. Ito yung So, 
ayan so substitute natin FAB is equal to 257 257.1 multiplied by 0.286i plus 0.857j plus 0.429k so FAB is equivalent to 73.5 i plus 220j plus 110k so ito class yung value ng FAB in terms of Cartesian vector form so since meron na tayo nito class isubstitute na natin dito sa ating equation ano so 73.5i plus 220j plus 100k ay dito f plus f perpendicular so itong value ng f natin na to class is 300 ano so 300j so ang value ng f perpendicular equal to negative 73.5i plus 80j minus 110k so makukuha natin tas yung value ng resultant na value ng components of force perpendicular to member AB so F perpendicular is equivalent to the square root of negative 73.5 squared plus 80 squared minus plus pala I mean quantity 110 squared so ang value class ng F perpendicular I is equivalent to 155 newton so ayan class ang sagot Pero class, pwede din naman nating masolve ang value nitong perpendicular gamit yung Pythagorean theorem. Ano? So, if we consider this figure class, itong figure na ito, if we consider this figure, so mag a tayo sa ganito. So, 90 degree ito. Ito yung FAB. And then, ito naman yung F na 300 okay. itong FAB naman ay 257.1N so makukuha natin itong value na ito na perpendicular sa pamamagitan ng Pythagorean ano? so ang F perpendicular is equivalent to the square root ng F squared minus F A B squared so, ang makukuha din natin na value class yan ay equivalent din sa 155 newton. So, ayan class. Kung saan kayo mas mapadali. Ano? So, ito class, long method lang ito class para ma-determine natin yung Cartesian vector form nitong F perpendicular at saka anong F parallel. Ano? So, ayun class. Thank you so much.